one ended up being 680 pounds for $46 at 6.75 cents a pound. So I'll take it. I've got a washer in the back to drop off and see what kind of money I can get for that, which is something that I picked up free last week. Let's take a look. And yeah, so these are stainless and there's some kind of mail connector units. That's plastic. Um, these things here. So they're light, but they're banded, so they're not going to be too bad. And I do see a unit down there, so maybe I will grab that. Uh, and I see a bunch of metal. These are... I don't know what those are. But they're plastic. Yeah, I see. A bunch. Wow, a lot of metal here, actually. All right. That's, that's like, uh, that's four pounds right there. All these clamps. It's plastic. Kind of in a weird spot here to use two hands. I need to find like a whole bundle of that wire right there. These are, ah, uh, they're on the packages, so maybe I'll take those. Um, these are in the packages. All that stuff I can just throw out if I don't end up using it. But I'll check on eBay. Yeah, that just completely busted open. So that is, that's a lot of weight. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the two little stuff, all the little bolts and screws and stuff. Um, all right. That's a good 25 pounds. Just gotta make sure I don't dump it. All right, so this is a, uh, copper jacketed or plastic jacketed over copper with uh, stainless steel ends. I've got a ton of those to break down. Let's see if there's anything else worthwhile digging out of here. Ouch. I think with all of us scrappers hitting this so hard, they probably haven't had to have the company pick up this unit as often as they thought they would. Right, so all this stuff. This is uh, fiber, which is unfortunate. stuff as I've seen. So now let me see what I can do about Plastic. Let's see if I can get these out. Oh man, I can't. No. Some of the 
this other stuff. Not up. I might take those if they're in good condition. I really like the ones that I have. Anything that's around these, because I don't understand why they're not moving. This could be part of the reason right here. There we go. Too bad. This well. Take that. Um, I'm not gonna take that just for the ends. I'll cut that off actually and throw it back in. Um, is there a unit in there? Oh, there is. has gotten wet but with those with everything on top of it might not have gotten that wet all right so now I really gotta dig is pinned hard all right I'm not gonna film this I gotta get all this out of the way you don't need to watch me do that so, all of this is now uncharted territory because um, with all that stuff on it no one's ever been down to this level so got that which it's got good metal on it not resellable really and unfortunately about this this stainless is all stainless except for in the corners here it's magnetic so i'm going to take some in and ask how they're going to if they're going to hit me with irony stainless and if they are i'll just keep the hardware on too but all these little nut certs those are also uh, magnetic so it's not completely stainless and i'm not going to Cut all that off with the grinding wheel. Alright, so there's paperwork. Hey, I found this while I was digging it out. It's just a case. Um oh man, that's one of those expensive units. Yeah, the box is completely trash, but I mean if this thing's okay. I think this was one of those units that was on eBay for three grand. And it doesn't really look wet. So that's what it is. CSI Cellular Specialties. All sorts of turning knobs and stuff. Um, oh, the bottom is wet, but not inside. And I can sell it as parts only, maybe, since but yeah, just on the outside, nothing inside is wet. Well, I'll decide what to do. I'm definitely taking it with me. So I'll also take that pad and that. And then this. Probably need to get out of the dumpster and put that right in the truck. 
so that I don't drop it. So let me do that. I'll get back in one more time. And make sure I didn't miss anything over in that area there. And I was looking, even though I say I don't take this stuff at this, but it's such a tangled mess. Um, I'll just regret it if I take it, but now I can finally get to that. Um, yeah, I'm just not dealing with it. So these... Yeah, that's also going to poke me in the face. Are also can't sell that, and that's just plastic. So I'll cut cut the wire off of these before I leave. It's just at the truck, and I left my wire cutters in there. So that's that, and then this one here that is also heavy. I don't know what that is. But Got a little wet. I'll see what the rest looks like, but there's oh, a bunch of oh, a bunch of these things. If you can see that or not. Yeah, and I think just the outside of the box is wet, so I will take that too. Um, that is oh, so full. Oh, one of those things fell out. That whole uh, these things got caught in my GoPro. Put these down before I poke an eye out. Better. Um, I might have to take that out of the out of the box because I don't know if I can get that box out or not. And so I did uncover a couple more of these. So I'll take that. I've got a few of these that are brand new in the box, but I haven't got any bites on them on eBay. I did, however, sell the power packs out of one of the units, four of them. Some guy made me an offer on all four cheapest on eBay, but I got so much stuff I'm sitting on. I was like, absolutely. And he bought it and I made a couple hundred dollars just on power packs already. All right. So this thing is just oh, this wire. going to come out as is. So that's another one of those. Wow. Look at that thing. Is that the same thing? No, this one's different, I think. No, it's the same thing. Yeah, that's nice. Scratched up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I can maybe, maybe sell that for parts. I think that's going to be it now. I think we got it all. So check back here. That's plastic. That's plastic. Yeah, we're at the bottom. Wow, okay. Looks like I am gonna have to get in. So I had to move my timing up by an hour to get to that dumpster. But, um, it does not want to come under without. How am I gonna do this? Pushing my timing up, that means there's a lot more people around when I do this. 
which is not that big of a deal. I just don't like being launched. It's just, it's so light and it's such a pain to deal with. Ah, crap. I don't like it anyway. I'm not taking that other piece though. Uh, this office trash. Yep. Get that out of the way so I can get out of here. Oh man. Alright, so I'll take that. Some nice shag rug. through than it's worth. Yikes. That's interesting. I'm just cardboard, so yeah. Just grab that pipe and be out of here. And oh wow, look at all those. That's all cast aluminum. Alright, so let's just get all of this out. This is so we'll tackle that in a minute. So these are different. I've never got one of those before. And when I was hitting a couple of the dumpsters that I didn't fix, um, Two scrappers tried to, well, didn't try to do anything. They just pulled up near me, saw I was there, and turned right around and left. So I might have to keep coming at an earlier point now. Because, man, that was, uh, that could have jumped the wrong way and hit my back window. I gotta stop procrastinating. Man, um, that stuff's so, I'll oh, break them out. Just take all the stuff I don't need. That's some pretty good metal and aluminum. And all the rest of this has been here for a while, so they're just throwing the stuff on top. But Steel cable. Okay, that is everything. All right, let's check the food dumpster and see plastic bottles of what. Ooh, oil. Don't need that. Nope. Uh, popcorn oil or cooking oil or let's just take a look but it is popcorn oil so yeah don't need that all right it is the next morning and this is everything that i got the first few dumpsters were great and then after that was kind of a bummer there was really nothing but what i did find early on more than made up for it i'm going to get this all organized and i'm going to get my new electronics out of the cab and I'll show you what I got, and by then I'll do a little bit of research to find out what those things might be worth. Before I break all this down, just real quick, that's the uh, little bit of wire that I found. I did find some really good number one. I'll probably strip that, and there's some other good pieces in there. These things, these antennas, so these are stainless. I think the back plate is stainless, and then this is stainless with some irony bits here. Like I mentioned already, I need to check with the scrap yard on that. These are a huge pain to take apart, but I go through it anyway. There are a ton of screws back here to take off, then you have to take off this plate. And there's a board back in here that also needs to be taken off. So um, kind of time consuming for what little weight there is. Most of the weight is the plastic. It's almost kind of worth just throwing in and throwing in the shred, but I'll take it apart anyway. Um, these things I've never dealt with before, but I just checked it and they are complete aluminum and stainless, I believe. So I think the hardware here is stainless. These big bolts 
this is mag uh, non-magnetic. So aluminum cast, aluminum cast, aluminum cast. Only this is magnetic here. I'll take the light fixture off. These little bits here are magnetic. Um, I'll probably just do irony something on that, not even bother taking those apart. But the wire is all aluminum, so it's junk wire. But there is some nice weight. That little screw there is also magnetic. But uh, yeah, that's, that's almost 10 pounds of aluminum cast and I've got a bunch of them. This stuff here, I think this was some kind of housing for these. And these are uh, some really nice aluminum plate and then more aluminum, probably I think this, yeah, extrusion there. And just take off the hardware, break it down because the hardware is magnetic. I got some copper here. You can see that nice copper wire that's on this junction box and some clean copper, number one. This is number two. Looks like somebody tried to take this stuff off and then decided against it. I'll take off the rest of this. This thing here, I think I've looked on eBay to see if they're worth anything and I um, don't think they are or they haven't been selling. Either way, it's not been on my mind. I'll check it again. This is good aluminum that came out of this stuff. I, I don't think it's stainless. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. This here, not sure exactly what it is. Rev module interreach spectrum. So I'm just going to scrap it out. It was by itself. I don't want to take a chance on this particular unit. Um, this is what it looks like inside. These might be gold plated, but I, I don't know what to do with this kind of stuff. I don't have an outlet right now for electronics. I've been looking, but there's nobody local in my area. I'd have to mail anything that I did. Uh, this, all this is magnetic. The green board underneath, there's so much green board it's barely gonna pass as low grade, so I'm not even gonna save the green board. I'll take these off and just look a bit closer. But these back here, those might also be gold plated. I don't know, maybe I'll hold on to them. These might be silver plated, but um, they're all non-magnetic. That could also be stainless, I don't know. Uh, the top and the bottom of this are aluminum but the sides are magnetic, so that's steel. I'm gonna scrap out this whole thing, take everything that I can out of it that's uh, more aluminum there, and just see what's worth keeping and what is worth just throwing into scrap. But this whole thing is, like I said, it's, it's getting taken apart and broken down. I did take, that's a lot of weight right there. I did take all those mats. They go, I don't know, they're three foot mats at least. Uh, I've been using them, so I might just store them somewhere. I might look them over, and if there's some good ones that I don't need, I might try selling those. I think I mentioned that before in another video. Uh, but I decided to grab whatever good ones they had left because I really like uh, working on those and having those in my scrap area. Other than that, We've got this thing, which I found I've got a bunch of these that are new, as well as some that don't have the box like this one. This one I'm gonna scrap out, but uh, it is a, it doesn't say what it is. So some kind of maybe antenna or in some kind of converter unit. This is all aluminum cast. This is stainless steel, and that is the only part that's magnetic, the bracket. So, and then these things, I found a bunch of them. I just looked, and I've had these listed on eBay forever. Uh, they're not selling for what I think I need to get out of them to make it worthwhile to sell them for. Even though I was the cheapest one out there, they're just not selling. So I'm going to scrap these out. They're all non-magnetic. I'll take the O-ring off and uh, nothing seems to be magnetic on the inside either and just turn it in as stainless. And uh, I've done a few of these like that and they never said anything about them, um, whether or not they care that I don't completely break them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and break all this down. I'll look up all that other stuff on eBay and then come back to you. Most of this stuff broken down. There's some great cast aluminum right there. More cast in there along with some plate. And then I forgot to show the, the shred material that I got. So I got some heavy bar and just some other miscellaneous things. I do believe this is aluminum here. So I'll take the screen out of that. And then like I said, normally I don't pick up these uh, really light steel two by four type products but they're all bundled together and that's a good 20 25 pounds so there's a couple of dollars there and then over here is the big box that i put together of all other shred steel and some there might be a couple of aluminum pieces in there i'll go through it all and then that stuff i've got to kind of knock off all the ceramic around the light fixtures and then that can be good for shred as well so this unit here so this was the three thousand dollar unit that was on ebay um, it's still for sale on eBay, and now there's another person that's selling a new open box one with the original box for $500. Nothing has been sold. So what I might do, sell it as parts only. Someone might just want parts and not want to spend a ton of money on it. So I'll throw maybe 
$200 with a $100 best offer on it and see if anybody bites. It's gonna be a huge pain to to pack. And this thing is a good, uh, I mean, that's, that's like 20 pounds. So I'm really gonna have to do a heck of a job on packing that thing. It almost might not make it worth it for somebody to buy it just for the shipping alone. But I've got another one that's still in the styrofoam but does not have the original box. I might have to do the same thing on that one. We'll see what happens if it doesn't sell. It's some kind of transmitter, I think it said. But um, yeah, it doesn't say on the label over here. These things here, they're uh, dual transmitters or dual, um, I can't remember the name of this thing now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Obviously it's a splitter, that's what it is. And I've got 30 of them in there. So I've checked uh, all the ones that were near where the box was wet on the outside. There's no moisture on the inside and there's no moisture around this area here either. Uh, so these are good to go, but these are not selling on eBay. There are a lot for sale and the cheapest one is $15 with free shipping. Um, I never do free shipping. So what I might do is just take uh, a lot of 10 of them and see if I can't sell a lot of 10 of them for $20 for maybe somebody who installs this type of stuff. These are aluminum cast. So if I do end up taking all these apart, this is stainless steel, this is aluminum cast. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that to all 30 of them if I can unload them. So we'll see how it goes for 30 of them. And hopefully I'll get a few bucks. So here is the unit that I said I'd take apart real quick. So I just wanna, I've never looked inside one of these. So I'll just show you and hopefully I'll be able to put in text above here what exactly this thing was. I can't remember. Obviously it's some kind of splitter again, but you've got this really nice cast aluminum inside here, ring, easy to remove. And then there is your board. I'm not gonna bother going any further, or maybe I will, and then I'll come back. I'm not gonna take all these screws out and have you watch, but so there's a, uh, that's just a low grade board. So not even worth doing anything to that. But this here is gonna be, that's more great cast. But man, look at all those screws all the way around that I'm gonna have to take off to see what's underneath here. So let me do that and I'll show you way more time than I wanted to spend on this. It is ridiculous how many screws are in here. Just around the outer edge was 58 screws. There were 25 I had to take out of here. I had to get creative and use a hex bit on a star bit because I didn't have a star bit small enough. And then when I lifted it up, there was all this. So there's another 45 probably screws in there. So 120 screws almost for this one plate to come off. And then in the end, it still didn't want to come off until I loosened up one of these, but it did. Yeah, that one there didn't need to be loosened. Well, that one maybe didn't either, but something wasn't given. And that's all of everything that came out. So that's nice cast aluminum, but geez, 120 screws to get that plate off. And I didn't know what needed to be done and what didn't. It was like Pac-Man chasing this all the way around and doing all these and then looking at this. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, I did remove all of these, which didn't need to be removed, but, and all of these. So those were uh, these studs. And I don't know what they went into because that goes in there like that and then it touches nothing. So all these studs are in there with these screws and they literally touch nothing. But I'm sure, I mean, they've got to serve a purpose. So maybe somebody who's electrical can tell me. It's kind of cool just to see what was on the inside. It's just a big void, unfortunately, after doing all of that. But, you know, I did have to remove all those screws anyway if I want to turn this in as clean cast. So yeah, I'll have to remove 120 screws on, I think I've got six of these to get this plate as clean cast. It's almost not worth it. It actually isn't worth it if you factor in the time but I'll probably do it anyway you know five good pounds of clean cast and when I get this stuff off I'll have stainless but um interesting I'll go ahead and do it to scrap it out uh probably anyway I'll decide when I get there hopefully I can sell them on eBay and I don't have to worry about it but anyway so that's everything yeah there was a lot to take care of today a lot of things to break down for my non-ferrous stuff and that and uh stuff to look up on eBay so thanks for watching hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll talk to you later